Hey guys, Brandon here, and this is the back of my Model S, and today I want to show in this video how to get uh, these little tiny orange spots uh, that have been flicked onto the paint. Let me zoom in here. So see these uh, orange spots like here, 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 here. Um, the other, the black stuff is just generic dirt. Uh, here, here, and then here's a little line here. It's basically like rust. Uh, these are called by different names I found out. Some people call them um, like little paint rust spots, which is kind of inaccurate. Others call them um, rail dust. I think because I like, um, I read that cars that are transported on <clears throat> rail cars or semi trucks or something like that, uh, little particles of iron from the brake drums or some component in there flick off and then attach themselves onto the paint um, and then they rust, which is why you get this orange color. And the problem is, like, I mean, I wash my car fairly frequently, and you can sort of grind these off with your um, fingernail, but that's not good for the paint. And there's also, like, quite a few of them. They're sort of, they're sort of spread out on the back here, as well as in some other areas, like, they tend to predominate like right behind the wheels where the material would get um, flicked off. So I've actually cleaned some off from this area, but you can still see, so these guys right here, um, and you can see those are uh, at the wheel wells. So it was kind of a bummer when I first found them. I was like, what the heck? Because when you go through the trouble of cleaning your car, um, you kind of want it to be clean at the end. Um, hard to see, but here's some right there. Um, so anyway, um, after reading a bunch of stuff on the internet, I found uh, this stuff, which I should probably take out of the bag, is called Iron X. Comes with a spray, uh, spray bottle. I got this stuff on Amazon. I think it was directly from the company. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, Car Pro, um, danger warning, just get rid of that, just kidding. It's supposed to dissolve those things and then you can uh, wipe them off. Ooh, look, it's a cherry scent. So I'm sure it's quite uh, toxic. Okay, the overall directions here, wash the surface, shake the bottle well, spray on, wait three to five minutes. The color will change from, or to purple red. Uh, rub it in with a damp sponge. Avoid drying under direct sunlight, so we've got a nice cloudy day today, so perfect. And then rinse well with water. Alright, so the first thing that I need to do is uh, wash the car. Washing the car is done. The next step is shake the bottle, not the baby. You can see it's kind of a, it's a clear fluid and um, it's, it looks a little bit thicker than water and it's got some bubbles in it. Okay, uh, spray on and wait three to five minutes. So whenever you have a new solution that you've never used before, you definitely want to test it on a small area. I'm going to test it on this area here. There's uh, one pretty decent size uh, fleck right there. And then um, most of the other ones are kind of up on this edge or whatever seam. So um, yeah, I don't know if I need to dry it, but I am going to just wipe away some extra moisture. Turn the nozzle to on. We are spraying. All right, here we go. Trying not to inhale it. All right, let me see if I can get a close up here. You can see that the uh, orange flecks are already turning purple. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to let that sit for a while and then come back and wipe it off. Alright, I put that stuff on at about, uh, it's been five minutes. So you can see, um, dribbles, dribbles everywhere. 
um, and it has pretty much dissolved almost all those spots into a um, reddish purple film. So the next step, according to the directions, let me just uh, put that down there, okay. Rub in with damp soft sponge, avoid drying under direct sun, and then rinse well. So I've got a damp microfiber cloth here, and I'm just gonna, and if you can, view this in 4k it's probably a little bit better resolution uh, just wipe all those off and yes i would call this a success uh, i think it's going to take another application but if you look there you can see most of those um, orange rail dust spots are gone. So, yeah, I'm gonna uh, apply this to the to other areas of the car and um, consider it a successful purchase. So again, here's what I've been using. CarPro is the my, uh, manufacturer. Iron X is the compound. There's another thing called. Um, I can't remember, it's, it has like fix in the name, but it's this compound plus another one. And um, I read somewhere somebody said that the Iron X solution by itself works a little bit better, so I got it um, as its own thing, uh, which I think was slightly more expensive. But anyway, yeah, you can get this directly from the company or on Amazon, and I haven't looked in car part stores or anything, um, but uh, you might be able to get it there as well. So. All right, well, if you have uh, rail dust or these orange uh, paint rust spots that aren't really true rust through the paint, um, and I want to emphasize that this this is not for this is not for rust that's actually involving the paint. Um, it's specifically for these little flecks of rust. So anyway, but if you have these, there's a great product to take them off. Get your car looking uh, back to silky smooth. Thanks for watching.